Oh, hey. So often, the news <laughs> makes me feel bad. Doom scrolling, Twitter arguments, often with bots. Bots are jerks. Falling down horrifying rabbit holes. Rabbits are jerks. Hours consuming useless, and often later I learn bogus information. Not good, you guys. Not good. Not good. So what am I gonna do about it? Quit? Nope. I have several ideas for how to make it better. One of them actually is quit. But we'll get to that later. Actually, we'll get to that now. It's the first thing on the list. Quit. That's it. Do we even need to read the news at all? The jury's still out. That's how YouTuber Nathaniel Drew do. Not good. And finally, whenever I would see the news, I would make an effort to change the channel, look away, exit the app, or leave the room. And that's also what Ralph Dubelli do. Belly. And he won't shut up about it in his TED talk because you're supposed to talk at those. I cut myself off completely from the news. I threw my TV out the window. I deleted the news apps from my phone. He also laid out his reasons for quitting in this Guardian article. Guardical? First of all, a news article about quitting the news. Ball or move, Guardian. Basically, he lays out all the reasons why the news is terrible and you don't need it. If there's really important information, you will probably get it anyway. And there are other better ways to be informed besides knowing what just happened right now. Reading books. I think I've heard of those. Probably saw them in a movie. Also, no one says you have to be informed. Play Fortnite or whatever. You do you, boo. And Drew. And do. Belly. However, I do want to be informed about what's happening right now. I actually enjoy it when it's not terrible. There has to be a better way! Number two. Before turning on the TV, logging onto the internet, opening up the new news pepple, it would be helpful to ask why? Why do I need to know this stuff? What am I looking for? Because if you don't know, then how are you going to know when you found it? You're never going to stop. Because of decades of yummy, yummy internet, I have become very comfortable with logging onto the internet with no intention. Just give me the goods, internet. What does that mean, Craig? I don't know. Just make me feel something. Okie dokie. How about this? Oh, great. Now I feel really scared. And now I'm sad. You're welcome, Craig. See, that little documentary of actual footage from yesterday shows you what can happen if you have no intention. It's just helpful to know ahead of time what you're looking for. And if you don't have an answer, maybe don't do it. Go for a walk. Meditate. Sit there with your thoughts. Scary, I know, but probably helpful. I know it's hard to resist the doom scroll, which is why we have more rules. Next rule. Set limits. Pick specific times. No news before noon. Afternoon. Only half hour day. Two half hours in two every two days. I don't- what math? Whatever. No news on your phone or your desktop. Only get it from a printed paper. Well, no cable news. I highly recommend no cable news since it's inherently unintentional and endless. Like me! No news in bed. That will destroy your sleep. And if you've been watching me, you know that I already struggle with that. But while we're on the topic, I know a way to make your sleep even more enjoyable. And I'm also going to thank today's sponsor, Brooklinen. I'm talking high quality, comfortable bed sheets. But are they super expensive, Craig? No! Plus, you get $20 off an order of $100 or more if you click the link below and use the code WheezyWaiter. You know what they say? Couples that open that on which they lay together, stay together. That was bad. Brooklinen was founded on the philosophy that people deserve simple, beautiful home essentials. Without the luxury markup, and one of the ways they do that is by cutting out the middleman. I hate it when I buy bed sheets and they come with a man in the middle of them. I don't know why they do that, but Brooklinen cut that out. Sleep is something that I have been very concerned about. Therefore, I wanted to get the best sheets I could find. And we did. The ones we chose were the best-selling Lux Sateen bundle. If you get a bundle, you get 25% off, and it comes with a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. Cover your duvet. Nobody wants to see that. Kids today running around with their duvet flopping all over the place for all to see. Sateen is usually more tightly woven and heavier in weight than percale. Making it warmer, ideal for year-round comfort. Look what it's like outside. I need warm. And, mmm, buttery soft. Finally, I don't have to slather myself in butter before I go to bed. You can mix and match over 20 colors and patterns in the comfort of your own home. This is the best our bed's ever looked. Are we real grown-ups now? By no means. Oh, thank God. I'm taking a nap. We have a kid, though. Shoot. Dang it. You slept on the sheets for a night. How was it? Very, yeah. very comfortable. What did you dream about? That bed. When I woke up in my dream, cried from happiness. <laughs> <sighs> Time to play tic-tac-toe. No, 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 no. Don't no. give me any sheets. Because I we already got them. Now, back to limits. I also recommend turning off all notifications. The only one I have on is my email because that actually prevents me from going into my email to check if I got an email because I don't get that many. If I don't have any friends. And if I go back and check, I'll be like, well, 
while I'm here. Twitter, 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 Twitter. Twitter would probably be better for me if I wasn't constantly saying it while I was doing it. Also, I deleted Twitter off my phone many times, and it does help until it doesn't. I go through the cycle of deleting it and then not using it for a while and then going to the browser to use it instead and then being like, well, it'd be much more convenient to just use the app. So then I use the app and then it's a cycle over and over again, like Groundhog Day. But it's not exactly the same every time, so more like Cloud Atlas? Anyway, it's good in spurts, like Cloud Atlas. Four, fix your feeds. <laughs> Jerk. I don't know why I called you a jerk. Just not, you're not a jerk. Maybe. Improve the dumb feeds and get less dumb feeds. But it's gonna be different for everybody. Different feeds for different dweebs and plebs. I couldn't decide whether to say dweebs or plebs. So this might not work for you, but I'm just gonna tell you what I do. I organize everything so that I stop getting my news from the algorithm. On Twitter, I make sure to select to show the latest tweets instead of the algorithmiest tweets. And I've unfollowed all news sources, well, except for God. But I do still check the news on a list I made. Twitter lists, they still exist, and they're actually good. I don't know why more people don't use them. Well, I do know, because it's clunky, because Twitter doesn't prioritize it, but they're good. They just take a little bit of effort to put together. Imagine a feed of just comedians. Hilarious, sometimes. Imagine a feed of news you pick. Informative, sometimes. You could have a feed of just people named Ralph, and that's great for, um, and did you know that you can follow other people's lists? Mind moderately blown. And here's how I fix Facebook. What's Facebook? And now, <clears throat> the best way that I get my news, email newsletters. I know it sounds kind of spammy. That's why I've I held off for a while, but I actually really, really like it now. But not too many, I, that would be annoying. I use three of them. One called Morning Brew, one of the New York Times newsletters, there's many of them, and a local one about my area. Not my area. At least not yet. You never know when you might streak. There's a million of them out there. I bet you can find some that you love. But again, not too much. Calm down. Me. Also, here's a novel idea. Seek out good news. There's nothing wrong with checking good news. It doesn't mean you're denying that bad things are happening too. I made a good news Twitter list. This website, Future Crunch, will send you a good news newsletter. And I just signed up for that. It's my fourth one. You can sign up for it too. We could be newsletter buds. Number five, read past the headline, especially before you share. Don't share. Someone wrote a song about that once. A headline's not in an article. A tweet is not in an article. And then once you read the article, you can don't share. Read past the article. Who wrote it? What sources? Check the about page of the publication. Here's an important one. Follow the links in the article because most of the time they are the three Bs. Broken, bewildering, and bullshit. Or they're just a link to another article that whoever wrote that also wrote. I couldn't come up with a way to make that start with B. Backlinking? Those links are devious because they make things seem credible, but most people don't click. Don't believe me? I put a link down below to prove it. Or did I? Now that you've done that, you can also not share. Read other articles to get camera two perspective. Back to camera one. Thank you, camera two cameraman. You're welcome. I pay him $8,000 a day to do that. I used to just send my clones to the alligator pit at the end of the day, but government rules. I know a lot of this takes more time and I just told you that you should set limits, but you can use read later lists. I know the Chrome browser and the Safari browser make it real easy to just click into the reading list. You can click watch later on YouTube, but finish this video. I mean, this video is pretty good. And the final thing on my list, it takes a little bit more effort, but it has helped me immensely use the news because doing stuff makes you feel good. Well, not everything like stabbing needles into your eyes. Isn't, doesn't necessarily make you feel Recently, I've revamped my note-taking. I searched all different kinds of note-taking apps to find the right one, and I settled on one called Notes. Just the native note-taking app in the Mac. I like it because it's very simple, and it has folders, so you can organize your notes very easily. And it works very well with Safari, which I also recently just switched to because I like the organization of the tabs and the bookmarks and the reading list, and it works well with Notes. I'm such an Apple fanboy, God! You can use whatever you want. Just find a note-taking app that you can easily Put stuff down in and organize. So when you come across articles, quotes in articles, ideas, just put them in there. I have so many folders and giant lists of movies and books and games that I've found from reading the news. I also have life tips and productivity tips and ideas for Wheezy Waiter videos. I also keep a journal. Often I'm writing about my reactions to news. Writing about things really helps me understand things better and sometimes makes me feel better. I'm not saying you have to take what you learn in the news, make something and share it publicly, but you can keep track of things and sort out your thoughts and I think it helps give you perspective. One last thing you could do if you're feeling ambitious is to seek out local news. It's easier to affect change on a local level. Contact the person who wrote the article, or if it's about a public figure, contact that public figure. But be civil and nice. If you see a problem you think you can solve, start your own community about it, or find a subreddit community that already exists. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Make a local Twitter list, or twist. 
This video ended with a twist. <laughs> you like that? No? Okay, that's it. I hope that helps you with the doom scroll. Or uh, you could quit again. But you know, just keep watching these videos. And thanks once again to Brooklyn. And remember, you get $20 off for an order of $100 or more if you click the link below and use the code WheezyWay. YouTube thinks you'll like that video. You can subscribe. You can hit the bell. You can support me on Patreon. I do a monthly live stream over there and you get early releases of these videos when they're done early. Sometimes I'm late. My arms are so tired. Sounds like the alligator's not. Just woke up from a nap. <laughs>